Hey everybody, so today we have in here for repair, we have this bag. And what used to be in this bag is a USB. And this USB, the SanDisk 3.0 USB, there's also another piece that came with it. It's this. This is the main part of the USB that actually does connect there. You can see there's some damage that does go on the side. It's USB 3.0. It's nice and blue. Man, I didn't even know even the inside was blue. I forgot about that. So the inside part is blue and we have both connections there and we do have a physically broken uh, USB. So uh, what are we gonna do now? Well, guessed it, we're gonna go ahead and get the data off of it. So how are we gonna do that? How can you do that with this part? If you do have a USB that's been broken like this, most likely obviously it's been maybe dropped or maybe it's been pulled down or something's been impacted by it, something where it's gonna guillotine the head there and we need to go ahead and see really what the problem is. So number one thing, whenever you have something like this, you wanna make sure that you kind of leave it as is and you want to make sure you nice take these things nice and steady, put them in a bag, put them in a place where it's not going to, to lose any parts. Because a lot of these little important parts, when it's broken, can matter. Either the main part where it connects to the computer here, or obviously this is the most important part, which is going to be, which is going to house the board in there. So if you have a broken one like that, make sure you keep everything together. Make sure you keep it all nice and tight. Make sure you don't lose anything. If you see any little piece that you're not sure of, definitely make sure you bring it in for any type of repair because you want the best chance of day recovery you can. Any little component, any little piece that's broken can matter. So definitely make sure you keep everything together, bring it in, and we'll get to it. So what can we do? How are we supposed to get this open? Well, this one's really interesting, and we actually need to open it up completely, and we need to expose the board and get the data off. So let's go ahead and do that. And we have our nice USB here. Uh, fortunately, I'm going to have to break this nice beautiful shell here to get into it because there's really no way to get into it perfectly. So the top part itself there, um, it's not going to slide in all the way through the top. There's no crevices on the side here, so we need to do the nice, nice way of opening it, right? Nope, unfortunately you can't. This one actually has plastic all the way around. There's nothing really to push it out. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm just taking a nice pliers here. I'm working on this for a little bit as you can see, and it kind of looks like that scene uh, from Alien when they're coming out of, you know, their... If you ever watch Alien, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I have to go through it, but it kind of reminds you of that. Uh, we always want to maintain at least the integrity of the serial number, or at least write that down before in case there's anything that we might need. All right, so I was able to at least get it up. It's easy, comes off the bottom. We know that this is guillotined at its head there. We don't want to uh, make sure that we have any other extra damage. It's very easy to even be opening these things and then to damage the PCB part itself here, damage any of the traces further than they already have or knock off any components because if you plug in anything else you're going to have that problem if you try any other type of way if you're very aggressive it's very easy to do that so we have this you can see a nice controller there lots of components traces look to be pretty healthy for the most part we'll look at that under the microscope because that's the most important part we don't really care too much about the other piece uh, we can solder it back if we can or we can make our own uh, we've done them in our previous videos before we do see here's the the main uh, NAND flash here and this is where your data is so I uh, think number one thing uh, we have the nice camera it does show at least a good amount of detail there but obviously this isn't good enough to do any type of work on this one let's go under a microscope oh man look at the detail you can see every little piece of that USB so there's the main USB here looks to be pretty healthy right yep let's head off guillotined however you want to do it and there is uh, the, the connections that do go to uh, the main part of the USB there. We, again, we don't care too much about this because we're not going to be reusing this. If we had to, though, we could, but that's not really that important. We just always like to show you guys that anyway. But let's go look ahead under the microscope here because this is what, what's really important and what we worry about the most if, if, if there's any impact to the damage here. These don't matter as much because these two points at the top and bottom are just an anchor pretty much to hold down the USB. Um, so it's not being pulled on its traces exactly, right? Because if it was just being held in by its traces, you would have a big problem, right? Because how else would it hold in? So these usually get held in by the side here, and maybe there's a little bit, you can see there's little metal hooks that these can go into, and then are soldered like this. Now you have your nice little USB connection. Now the idea is to get, um, we want to pretty much replicate these traces. Now some of them can be ground, some of them can be data lines. So a lot of these trace lines are really important. Um, nothing's been totally impacted there. It looks like it, it should be just more of a straightforward uh, solder job that we can do and uh, hopefully get a very similar connection, a USB head like this. Or what we could do, which would be a lot more fun, would be to make a replacement head for this one so we can extract the data. That won't, that won't be a problem. So let's go ahead and get started. So we did have to get our donor USB. 
and it has to be exactly the same. You need to have the same connections so they match up with the traces. Otherwise, we're going to have a problem. It's not going to function properly to extract the data. So we want to be making sure that we do remove this connection, and we want to make sure we do it very carefully. Otherwise, we have to get another one. Now we want to make sure we clean up our old USB. We want to make sure we clean up all the pads um, and redo all the solder so it's going to connect properly. It's going to lie flat and make sure all the connections are going to be absolutely perfect. So we're going to redo that. And uh, sometimes the hooks can get a little bit of a pain here just to remove. It's not such a big deal. You can use a little hot iron and that will actually come out there. But now we want to make sure that we fit this on perfectly, make sure the connections are going to match up. There's not going to be any problems with connecting it to the pads and we want to make sure it does lie flat. So now we're going to make sure that the donor USB has a perfect connection with the pads here so there's not going to be any issues. The two anchors on the top and the bottom aren't too big of a deal because they have nothing to do with any type of power or data going to and from the USB. They're mainly just what they are. They're anchors to hold on the USB so when you plug it and unplug it in it's not just going to be held at the trace point because that's going to give it more support. So they don't have to be absolutely perfect but these traces do which they do look pretty good. So now let's go ahead and see if we can extract data. So we did solder the anchor points a little bit better so the hooks can actually hold it a lot better. That's kind of hard to see but yeah you can see the solder looks a lot better. And this looks like a normal USB. I'm holding it the right way too. Looks to be pretty good. So let's go ahead and see if we can plug it in and get our data. Because uh, it looks like it should be okay because there's just a little bit of damage there on the on the pins. And we did connect them well. We soldered them well. We showed that process. So let's go ahead and connect and see if it's going to go ahead and work. Lights on. That's good. We got our chime. Let's go ahead and switch to the... File Explorer. All right, we see it's not a lot of data. We do see the SanDisk one, it's about 32 gigs, which is good. Man, they still only take <laughs> like a few gigs, man. Still, it's a shame that you get something and it's still, but even look at my other drives, man. But we can't really click into it because we don't really want to show the customer's data, even though there's not a whole lot in there, but still pretty important. And at least we we're able to, to see it, at least it does open. So it looks good. Uh, we we're able to see the drive there. We'll extract the data and um, looks like the repair did work. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy watching, repairing 32 gigabyte SanDisk USB and how to extract the data from the broken connection that was up here. This case is a lot more straightforward because there's actually just damage to the solder pins here. We're able to do a repair for it. We're able to solder them back. Everything looks to be pretty good. We probably didn't have to get a donor, but it would make it a lot easier because the, we would have to straighten out the pins, make sure they're all fine. It's a lot easier when you do get a donor. Uh, we take data recovery very seriously. We do also like liquid spill repairs. Um, even from damaged MacBooks, we can get data from those as well. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, learned something today, and uh, we're very happy that we were able to get this, the data off of this, and uh, customers are going to be happy. We're going to be happy too. So hope you guys enjoyed watching, learned something today, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.